perfect stone, our body. Between the legs of the alchemist lies the cubic stone, which is labeled corpus, meaning body. The five stars surrounding it indicate that the body also contains the hidden fifth element, the invisible quintessence, whose inherent strength is perfected in its turning into earth. The Salamander, the Soul The Salamander is a symbol of soul, which is attracted to the blazing heat of the sun, while the bird of spirit is attracted to the coolness of the moon. Touching the wings of the ascended essence are a salamander engulfed in flames on the left side of the drawing and a standing bird on the right. Below the salamander is the inscription anima or the soul. Below the bird is the inscription spiritus. This is a visualization of the fundamental bipolar energies that drive the alchemy of transformation. It is the interplay of the feminine yang and the masculine yang energies. In this process, one thing takes on the characteristics of its opposite. This is a relationship between mercury and sulfur in alchemy. It explains why mercury is sometimes associated with the soul and other times associated with the spirit. The alchemists believe that within this interplay could be found the source of the life force. Spiritus, animus, and corpus, or spirit, body, and soul, form a large inverted triangle that stands behind the central image of the alchemist. Together they symbolize the three essentials, the celestial archetypes that the alchemists term sulfur, mercury, and salt. The king and the queen. Its father is the sun. Its mother is the moon. The king and the queen represent the raw materials of our experience, our thoughts and feelings with which the alchemist works. The king symbolizes the power of thought and planning, which are characteristics of the spirit. The queen stands for the influence of feelings and emotions, which are ultimately the chaotic first matter of the soul. The much heralded marriage of the king and the queen produces a state of consciousness best described as a feeling intellect, which can be raised and purified to produce a state of perfect intuition. Egyptian alchemists refer to this as intelligence of the heart. This special kind of intelligence or way of knowing is at work in the alchemist who is born of the sacred marriage of the masculine and feminine consciousness. The alchemist stands between the masculine and feminine powers. He is the offspring of the marriage between the king and the queen. The offspring of the marriage between soul, the archetypal sun king seated on a lion on a hill to his right, and Luna, the archetypal moon queen seated on a great fish to his left. The sun king, the extroverted sun king, holds a scepter and a shield indicating his authority and strength over the rational, visible world. But the fiery dragon of the rejected contents of his unconscious waits in a cave beneath him, ready to attack should he grow too arrogant. 
This dragon is created by the fiery nature of consciousness. Anytime we forcibly reject part of the contents of our psyche and relegate it to the shadows, we have given this undesirable part life energy in the very act of rejection. The fact that the light casts shadows is inherent in the masculine consciousness and it becomes a source of demons that plague us throughout our lives. The Moon Queen The melancholy introverted Moon Queen holds the reins to the great fish, symbolizing her control over the same forces that threaten the king, and behind her is a shaft of wheat which stands for her connection to fertility and growth. The bow and arrow she cradles in her left arm symbolizes the wounds of the heart and body she accepts as part of her existence. For the feminine consciousness accepts the world as it is with all its pain and suffering.